Hi everyone, it's Gail. I hope you're having a good Sunday. I am going to say hi and hugs first to Jenny, Marjean, Cynthia, and Joan. And thank you so much for watching and for your comments. Um, I've got a little project I want to do today, but I had a couple things I wanted to show you first. Um, no happy mail this day. But I did want to show you this. I forgot in the last video, we sprayed this paper that is from um, Amazon. I've got it on my favorite things. And it's the kind that goes through your printer. And I had a question, um, I believe it was from Susan, about um, is could you spray it with water and make it more um, crinkly? And... My answer to that is yes, you can. You're, if you have an inkjet printer, your printing is going to smear a little bit, but I kind of like that look, so it's fine with me. You can see it's kind of um, misshapen. It's not as flat and perfect, and so that might be a fun thing. All I did was spray it on the back, you might remember, and let it dry. So... You can kind of hear, it doesn't sound like coffee dyed paper really, but it does have more of a crinkle to it. So there you go. There's the answer on that one. <laughs> and then um, I also realized I hadn't shown you this collage since I finished it. So um, I thought I would just give you a little look. This is just four pages worth. And then the back I have writing paper collaged on you know, just plain paper. So I uh, got that done. So that's going to go live with my collage stuff for a little bit. But today, what I wanted to do is do some collage, but I'm going to do neutral collage because I've been wanting to do the neutral collage and then use rice paper instead of um, napkins and just see how it comes out. So that's the plan. That is the plan. So I've got my, um, I've got music. I've got book pages. I've got more book pages. <laughs> so lots of stuff, lots of stuff to work with here. And ooh, that's a good one. Let me grab that right out. I just saw that. Um, yeah, we're just going to collage this. I haven't I haven't done this collage on camera. Um, you know, I I mean it's it's basically the same as any you know, pattern paper collage. Um I'll leave that. Might leave that. I don't think I'll leave this. Yeah, and so um when I did the video of showing the um, napkins decoupaged on, I did have somebody ask me, "Would you, would you show, uh, would you show collaging the um, neutral background?" And so, so that's what we're gonna do today for a little bit, and. Um, Yeah, and so then we'll we'll do that today, and then tomorrow will be Mixed Media Monday. We'll get back to that journal that we've been working on, feels like for weeks. I guess it probably has been, um, which is the kit from Mixed Media Minnesota. So I pretty much just go back and forth between the this is and that's. That's pretty. That's pink, but... I'm not going to do that, I don't think. Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just kind of, just kind of do a little of this and a little of that. I think I will, okay, I'm going to tear this and then I'm going to straighten the bottom so that it'll go in that corner nicely. And so maybe we'll just do, I don't know, just do 
not a t not five pages of this, but maybe a few less pages, and then we can um, play with the rice paper a little bit. I just, I'm just, well, I I love rice paper so much, and then I I get it, and then I just don't use it because I can't bear to part with it. <laughs> It's really silly is what it is. What's this page? This is some kind of advertisements. You know what? We're going to just put that right down the middle. Because, you know, it's going to get cut up any cut up anyway. Um I think I might go this way so that that's on that. Okay. Just had to figure out how I was going to keep my holes from showing through the, because I don't want the text of the book that I'm using the glue pages out of. No, no, no. Don't want that to show because there's the occasional word that shouldn't be on video. <laughs> this and then oh look at that it fits like oops nearly perfectly okay and get this one lined up this part I'm kind of bad at you know what I'm gonna go this way like so oh Bad job, Gail. Bad job, Crooked. Goodness. That wasn't very good, but it's because I'm hurrying because I just want to get to the part of the rice paper. But no, it'll be it'll be fine. No big deal. Oh, you know what? I could I could put this at the top. I just cut it off the bottom. Oops. I betcha it would fill in that piece right there. Oops. I keep tearing it. It's really fragile paper. There we go. No harm, no foul. <laughs> okay, I have more papers over here. Let's kind of put something down there. Um, gosh, there's recipe books, all sorts of stuff. I don't want those cute little pictures, so I could maybe do this one, though. Um, I don't know. What's this? It's a different color. Looks like it's coffee dyed. There's a good one. I'm just gonna put that down the seam. We'll start down here. Wait, this is old paper, it's cracking as we speak. about a bit of music across the top there. Ooh, look at this side. It's all coffee dyedy. But I want the big font, so we'll go this way with it. I kind of debated doing this video today. I've kind of kind of been having the AFib happening today and it doesn't make me feel very good but I was like you know what you're you're gonna feel like you feel even if you're not doing a video so might as well do a video. Isn't that a cool color of paper? Ooh, that nearly could just go right there. I've 
got a couple pieces from the from the spine. We don't need those. I think it's pretty hot outside. I haven't even stuck my nose out today and it's like 1.30. <laughs> haven't even. I guess that will come later. I am just going to do another bit of music. I realize these are rather big pieces, but we can go back and put a smaller piece here and there as we want to, too. So, once again, it's really, it's just basically the same same principle as we've been doing with our our leftover scraps is just doing a little bit of let's see if I can find a piece of music Ooh, that's a good one um yeah it's just basically doing the same thing but just creating the neutral background which is cool So this will be our fourth page. So we may stop here and go to the back, get it back done. Then we can cut it up and play. There we go. Okay, I might take a bit of this. Go like that. Okay. Ooh, look at this side though. Look at that. That's cool. We'll do that side. And yes, I am using the original book pages and not copies because, you know, I have a lot of book pages around here. And there's something kind of about the feel of the real book pages as opposed to a copy. Okay. Um, you know what I want, and I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. I want some of this. Oops. Okay. I just dumped over a whole thing of books <laughs> that was on my shelf. Whoopsie. Oh, my husband's watering is so good. I haven't done mine yet today. I'll get there. I'll get there or I won't. That's <laughs> basically the two choices. Um, I love this typewritten Page. I wish I could find another book just like that one. I think it was Mary that gave that to me. She went out of the junk journal business. <laughs> she quit making journals and just was, you know, doing other artistic pursuits. And um, yeah, she gave me that. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, this is an interesting one. Kind of different, right? Go this way with that. Yeah, might as well just put that whole thing down. It's an Italian dictionary, I think. Okay, pop that there, and then got a little tiny bit in the corner here. And we'll 
just put a little of this music there and that'll be that. But I had another thought and I was going to show you on this. Okay, so there's four pages done. And um, and I was thinking, I don't know how this would look, but I was thinking about some of my lace digitals of maybe sticking some of those here and there because they are neutral as well. Well, I don't know what I have left. Ooh, these, those, yep, those ones, I think. Um, yeah, I was just kind of thinking that a few pieces of this here and there might be kind of a fun addition. the neutrals. So like we could put this right here. Yeah, I'm just going to stick this here and there as just a little uh, what do I want to say? Neutral enhancement. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like professional? It's the neutral enhancement of the page. And we put that there. Then I put like half of this. Go right down like that. And then we'll see what it looks like when it's done. All collaged. Yeah, I think that's nice. I like, well, this is just totally not working. So maybe we'll put this up here. Yep. I think that's what I'll do. So I have several lace digitals, but, um, in my Etsy that you might like to play with. I know I do. Okay, where's my tear ruler? Buried it. I'm just gonna put that right. I'm gonna put that right there. And that right there. Just to sort of, you know, add a little dimension or something. Okay, and then we're going to cover the back and we're not going to worry about too much having little scraps and stuff. I just want to get it covered with like coffee dyed paper that we can um, just gonna put that right there. Coffee dyed paper that we can write on. That's all I'm concerned with. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. Okay, there's our neutral. Okay, let's back it real quick. And I am just going to use, I have big papers in here. So we will just use them. Like I have this big old piece of coffee dyed paper. I'm just going to split it and... Put it in a couple of the corners and because I want to get to decorating. Go 
ahead and put that in the opposite corner on this end. And that way we can kind of work back and forth with the same papers. Okay, I think I will take this and Oops. Go ahead and wrinkle the paper, huh? Okay, I'm going to put these in the corners too because they're nice and square. Put this one down here. whipping through this little bit of the collage I'm trying to hurry so that I really want to have time to decorate I was thinking about doing these in two, this in two videos but I really kind of want to do that mixed media Monday tomorrow so 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 there's that okay this is just light I don't know Maybe we'll do a little bit of this. This is my brown coffee dyed kit in my shop. Ah, come on. Be nice. Okay. to the edge there that's a good thing for on the on the crease here so let's just do this and we'll just put that there and that there look at her go you'd never know this woman's an AFib <laughs> oh gosh Constant state of flux this gal is in. Yesterday I felt like a million bucks all day long. So, you never know. Just, just deal with what's dealt, don't you? Okay, I'm going to put this over that like so okay we're getting down there um we could do a little bit of straw paper let's kind of get that edge a little less perfect but then It's hard to hard to get a um, collage thing done and decorated in one video, but I'm gonna give it a whirl here. <laughs> Never know until you try, right? Okay, I'll put that right there. Okay, we're almost there. What else do we have in here? Some of this. School paper.
before you use up the glue sticks doing these things, I'll tell you what, but I still think they're one of the most genius ideas. Carol Waugh came up with this, doing the book pages. I think it's just one of the most genius ideas that has come out for us journal makers. It's just such a good idea. Okay, got that one. I really just have down here. Nah. 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 What's this? Ooh, that is super old book page. I'm falling apart. There's some perfect. a mess right up there. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to clean that up once we're done here. Okay. Tomorrow I go back to the surgeons for my follow-up to see how I'm doing. I think she's going to say, awesome. I do. That's what I think she's going to say. Okay, so that is all done. How long? Oh, 26 minutes. I just felt like it was forever. <laughs> okay, so there's that, and then there's that neutral side. So now we want to cut it up, and then we'll play with some rice paper on it. So I think... I'm going to go about five inches right there, and then I'm going to make these into journal cards. So um, I think four and a half should be about in the middle, they'll be kind of square little journal cards, but that's okay. Yeah, those are fine, good journal cards, because this one I'm thinking I wanna make into tags, because I'd like that to go the length of a tag. So I'm gonna go six inches here. Yep, six inches, and then I'm gonna go three and three and three because I know these book pages are about nine inches long. See, doesn't that make a nice tag? Yeah, I like having that um, lace on there. And then those two will be tags as well. Okay, I think I might go just on the side of this lace like that I think I may make a flip out of this like a flip out for writing oh isn't that pretty and so I'm gonna want this eight and a half so I can just get some of that that's just no big deal okay so that will be a flip so what do I have left here? I have approximately 18 inches. Is that right? Approximately 9 inches. <laughs> so 9 by 9. We got a square happening here. So what do I want to do? 6 would leave 3, right? Okay, so let's do six here. This can just, we'll make this, okay, so that's six. We'll, this will be um, like a belly band or something. So I'm going to do it eight and a half inches like a piece of paper. So that can be a belly band. And then this is six inches, so these can be tags. These can be three-inch tags again, I think. 
I really like the lace with it. We'll see how it does with the rice paper over it. That one's kind of sadly not very. We might have to add some. It's got a couple little other fonts, but okay. So we're cut out, cut up, and all of that. So we've got six tags, two journaling cards, a flip out, and a belly band out of the four pages. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, so which rice paper do we want to play with? Oh, goodness. It's so hard because it's all so gorgeous. I mean, look at these. These are awesome. This was a, a, a thank you gift from um, my last... My last, oh, that's so pretty too. Okay, this is good because this is fallish kind of. Okay, I'm going to play with that for sure. Because I think that might go in a fall journal just nicely. What would these be like? Like smack dab in the middle of these journal cards. That could be cool. Isn't this so pretty? So I get my uh, rice paper from ASC Supplies on Etsy for the most part. I guess I've probably gotten it a couple other places at times, but for the most part. And look, I just keep them. It's like, Gail, use these. Because I end up buying two. Oh, that could be cool on the... Okay, I can't get too many choices. Um... You know what I mean? I, it's like, I love them so much, I can't, oh, I can't bear to use them. I'm going to use them. That's going to happen. Okay, I was thinking this would be cool on a journal card, and then I think I like this um, poppy. Okay. We're going to just ruthlessly use our Stamperia paper. Okay, so these two out. Okay, this guy needs some more glue. It's very funky with the lace. Okay, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to do the clock on this one and this one the other. Okay, so now which clock do we want to use? I mean, really, if we use this one, it's just very, it's very neutral too. So this could become a pretty neutral ephemera piece. And I will tell you that rice paper does not tear like a napkin, really. You can do the whole trick where you brush water on it, and that helps. But, you know, it's got really strong kind of fibers in them. I don't know if it's rice, I guess. So, this is great to just be able to... Cut this out. Okay. So I do believe you're going to be able to see underneath of it. Now I am just going to use the glue stick. You could use Mod Podge. Um, but I kind of, I like the texture of the, I really like the texture of the rice paper. So I'm just gonna put a good amount of glue on there. And then we're gonna just plop that in and smooth her down. Oh, that is nice, and you can see nicely behind it. Oh, that is fun. Okay, I think I would like, if my corner rounder, who's been complaining to me, will do it, I would like to... Yeah, 
my my corner rounder's not happy. I think maybe it's time for a new one. I don't know. I've had this since my scrapbooking days. It's a creative memories. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know, 25 years old or something. Okay. It's probably older than some of you. And, and then I will want to stitch around that. I'm going to distress it, but I want it to dry a little bit. So let's move on to the, to the um, other one. But it does, you can see through it and it does look really cool. So I'm excited about that. Oh, I think I might, on that flip out page, use this fall one. Okay, so I'm gonna. To my friend Jen Bishop from um, Dreams Etc. And she is working on, oh, isn't that it's gonna be pretty? Yeah. She is working on two collections for Blue Fern and a digital for her shop. So she's <laughs> she's always super busy. She's just a go-getter anyhow, but um, yeah. So I'm super excited to see what she comes up with next. Okay, so we're going to put that there. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Oh yeah, that is good. Oh, except I put it on crooked because I was too excited. No, that would be better. <laughs> now you can just barely see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, you can just barely see the text behind there. And this one, when I sew, I think I might sew around this and then around this, even though that gives you a little something on the back, but you can write in it and then go around the edges or something fun like that. Okay, those are cool. Okay, let's see how they look inked up. Yeah, so she's doing good. She's traveling right now, but she is, um, you know, she can work wherever there's internet, right? So, yeah. Okay, isn't that fun? That's so antique looking. So, I can toss this on my sewing machine. Because this is ready to be sewn. Oh, that's the way fun. All right. Now. I love how that lace looks distressed, too. It looks so neat. Need to print some more, obviously. So I'm running out of it. Okay, there we go. So those two are ready to be sewn around. 
Okay, and then I was thinking this. That's, this might be kind of neat on it. I don't think I want to do... Oh, there it is. I don't think I want to do the whole thing. I think I just want to do like up the side or something. Then it says branch of the willow. How, how fun is that? All right. Okay, so what do I want? Okay, so I think I'm going to cut... Can hear my dog panting. He's <laughs> at the stairs. Mom, when are you gonna come up? Are you coming up yet, Mom? Hey, Mom. Ready to go out and play fetch, which is, if you ask me, more like keep away. <laughs> he won't give me back whatever I'm throwing for him. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna tear this. And I'm going to tear it around this flower. And if, with this stuff, if you put your thumb right there and tear where your thumb is, it does pretty good. Now, I want to go around and I want to get this square. Ooh, don't want that. No, I don't because that will cover up that fancy writing. This is what I'm thinking is of just going, just going like that. I'm debating going around that flower so you can still see the branch of the willow. I think I'm going to. Yeah, that's good. That'll be a piece for... Yeah, and then you can kind of see the music too. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Let's try gluing on the rice paper, see how that goes. I think I have done it that way before. Gosh, can you hear my husband clump clumping up there? I mentioned that I'm filming. <laughs> it's not totally straight. Go figure. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. That is so pretty. And very subtle, you know. I'm just going to put the top on my glue stick for a second while I... And then we'll sew around this also. Oh my gosh, I love how this turned out. This one's my favorite so far. Wow, okay. quick like get it over in the sewing pile I feel like it might be time to re-ink my ink pad I feel like I'm working awful hard to press down there okay it seems like maybe this needs a little extra glue right here Okay, so then what we have left is a belly band and some tags. And so let's see what inspires us for that. But oh, you guys, can you see that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. Okay, so 
day we get to go back to our staff. Um, go through the ones that I've gone through already. Just kind of looking at these with um, with an eye toward anything, any journals that I have coming up. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, those we've already looked at. Okay, that music one. Mmm, some of these would be nice on a um, on a tag, I think. These two would be these more so journal cards. But Okay, this one's backwards from what the others have been. Funny. Okay. Now the question becomes, do I want to tear them out? Or, I mean, I kind of feel like I want it around the edges where, where it is. And we'll just see which of the neutral tags these look best on. And we could use a little bit of the border that's at the top and the bottom if we needed to two. Okay. Not sure which Stamperia collection this goes with, but I'm wondering if it's Spring Botanicals because I do have that kit. And these look kind of like the colors and stuff of that particular kit. Okay, that and this. And then I don't know if we decide they won't go on a tag. We'll go from there, I guess. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Well, this guy could use something quite bold because there's not a lot going on there. But this one could just go down the middle. That would be very pretty. Okay, I like that. Just going to make it into a tag. Oh, come here, you. Sometimes your fingers just not work. Sometimes mine just don't work. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's just going to go right down the middle right there. And that will just be a pretty simple tag. And then this one kind of similar. How about to the side like that? That's nice, isn't it? Okay. Easy peasy. And then we just have the belly band left and four more tags. And I think I want this up kind of to the corner there. Yeah. Okay. It is kind of fun how the um how the collage on the particular piece will sort of inform where and what you want to put on that piece. Okay, I love that. Now we'll we'll distress around it. It'll be really pretty. And this one just popped in the middle, I think, will be just fine. You can just glue right onto the rice paper or rub the glue on the rice paper. That does not work with napkin. 
new, new, new. There we go. Okay. Those are so pretty. Let's distress them and see how they look. And we'll have we'll have five pieces that we have done. That's exciting. And doesn't the ink just the distressing just finish them off? Yep, yep. Let's do the front of this one. Okay, so there they are. Just give that a little. Yes. Oh, those are so pretty. That's so fun and so simple. And then I'll probably, I'll probably pop some lace on the top of those because I think that would type, pop, you know, that would really, where's my one with the lace? Um, oh, fell out of the bucket. That's where it is. <laughs> See, I was thinking like, this lace like this. Yeah, that's going to be great. Yep, we'll put that piece on that one. Put that on the sewing machine. And then, yep, and then that piece on that one. I don't know why lately I've been liking the thicker lace rather than you know, rather than like this thickness on there, although that would be cute too. Kind of like it double like that, now that I say that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that with that one. So guys, that is it. I, I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And just there's been other things to film. And so I'm just tickled to have been able to share this with you. Yeah, so pretty. So pretty. Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Um, we will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye, everyone.